As the website for the Mormon Church avows, or the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, first and foremost, we believe Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world and the Son of God. So what could be wrong? Ken Connor is the chairman for the Center for a Just Society in Washington, D.C., and the former president for the Family Research Center. He's a nationally recognized trial lawyer and a consultant for the Christian Post. He has some very definite ideas about who he thinks is a Christian and who is not. Says Connor, if someone says they are a Christian, then who is it to say otherwise? If the Mormon Church says it is Christian, then that is their truth and no one has a right to refute it. Connor bases his opinion on the Nicene Creed, the oldest written definition of Christianity, which says, We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. How similar the Nicene Creed is to the Mormon description of its church on their website. The interpretation of Revelations 22.18 is what is questionable to evangelical Christians. The subject of Mormonism is a hot topic. It's currently the subject of a show on Broadway. And New Jersey Governor Chris Christie has just endorsed Mormon Mitt Romney as a Republican presidential candidate. So it would seem that, at least for now, the point of whether Mormons are Christians or not is moot. At least insofar as the Republican presidential nomination is concerned, First Baptist Church of Dallas pastor Robert Jeffress notwithstanding. Jeffress, as you may recall, created a firestorm when he accused Mitt Romney of not being a Christian. From the Christian Post Newsroom, I'm George J. Weinbarg.